E3 finally here. Yes, we made it. Woo! What is up, guys? We are actually early. It's not even open yet. We still got about an hour and a half before things kick off. So we're going to look around and catch you on the next part. so early they haven't even finished putting stuff together guys it's 12 o'clock guys the gates just opened the people are flooding in we've been in for a good two hours already so we got to get a sneak peek every day of everything before everybody gets in and plays them thanks to snail games usa Thank you guys. And Woo! EA Sports. We got Square Enix over here. Disney, Activision back over there, WB. It is starting to get chaotic in here, guys. We will see you in the next clip. here. A few more hours left. There's Kratos. Check him out. Epic. It's Nintendo. Destiny. What's up guys? You can obviously tell where we are at, the Xbox booth at E3. Look at all this. This is insane. And to top it off, look at that. We had to stop by Curse. They got Smite set up, pretty awesome, and they are right beside the YouTube booth. A lot of people over here, guys.
guys. Sorry about that. Snow booth ending. Day one is over. We are about to leave the convention center and head back to the hotel. We will see you in the next clip. What's up guys? It's day two. E3. Here about an hour early. Live stream gonna start soon. So hope y'all seen that. Uh, I'll actually have that uploaded to YouTube hopefully by the time this video is out. What's up guys? We are in line, very short line, to play some Destiny. Check them out. AKA Lord Minion 777. Look, I should be saying something important. Um. <laughs> That's gonna be great for YouTube. Thank you. <laughs> I was watching Who's Lines Anyway the other day, and um, there's this skit where they have like two people sitting on a chair, they drew Carrie, and like a, a random member of the audience sitting on chairs. I think it was Colin Mockery was supposed to be moving them around and having them talk and doing the voices for them. So he turns Drew and he grabs Drew's mouth and he goes, Hello, I'm Colin Mockery, and he's like, 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 Hello, I'm <laughs> and Julie starts laughing and he's like going da, 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 making Drew's like arms these crazy motions at one point he does something where Drew's going like this and Drew's just like losing it laughing and then he like he changes the tone to like somewhat more serious he goes to the, like, the lady that's in the chair and turns around and laughs looking at Drew dramatically and then just goes <laughs> Drew Carey is just crying laughing at this point and I was dying watching I, I didn't expect it you know usually they do like oh it's violent I love it so much but this time he was just making weird noises and making them dance. It was the best thing ever. And it sounds really stupid now that I'm telling it out loud, so just showing you where it's actually funny. <laughs> Things are never as funny whenever you hear about them. Yeah. What? Hi, how's it going? I'm Wade. What? It's for your YouTube? This is for my uh, homie Dougie. It's YouTube, anyway. I'm Wade Lord Minion 777 and this is not Jackass. <laughs> Yet. Yet. <laughs> not until I try to get down from this hill. Okay, nice. Alright, let me just let me know when to start talking. Well, right now? Yeah. I have decided to not retire from YouTube. Goodbye, my friends. And stay thirsty. <laughs> Don't do that. Um, hey look at Godzilla! <laughs> What's up guys, this is the final day of E3. I uh, just dropped Chewy Slayer off at the airport. He is not here with me for the final day, but we are going to see what we can get into today. Catch you in the next clip. We are over here at the snail booth. Gonna do a little walk around. Right here we have three screens set up on O boxes. This is the online box that's running their Android system. They also have their own Play Store that they're releasing with this as well. It's actually gonna be out on the W3D before that. So there are gonna be a lot of games to play on that device when it does come out. I 
have another booth over here with W3D set up. Right here in the middle we have PS4 set up with the new King of Wushu that is going to be coming out as a MOBA style game. Very awesome. Got to play it. and then I love it. I'm going to have to upgrade and get me a new PS4 to get this game specifically. Because I love it. And over here on the other side we have more King of Wushu along with Age of uh, Age of Wushu Dynasty, which is coming out on mobile, is in alpha right now. Uh, we did cover that on a short video earlier, but it will be released pretty soon. And right here we have another setup. Oh, camera's doing a little auto focusing, but there's a first-person shooter. We have Tai Chi Panda on that O box, and. The final one has, of course, Tai Chi Panda on it. And up here, they were giving away swag. Spin the wheel, get you some swag. Giving out a lot of awesome stuff. Guys, this has been a great experience here being with Snail. And I've enjoyed it thoroughly. And I just want to thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to be here and voting for me for the super fan event. And I just want to say thank you again. Hi. What's up guys, we're over here by the Payday Crime Edition and the Walking Dead booths. Pretty cool stuff, about to go check it out. Oh shit. Time to get out of here. Guys, E3 is finally over. We can go home and get some rest. People are flooding out, trying to get out of here. And I'm actually gonna stick around. Let's go find some swag. What? Old school gaming. Got here actually one of the ghosts from the movie Pixels that is coming out, as you can see here, that is the actual prop used in the filming. That's pretty cool. Let's take a look. This is a gaming history museum set up in E3. This is some really old stuff. Look over here. Ataris for days. Of course, we have another ghost blinky. They had all the arcades rolling earlier. I did not get a chance to get over here and actually record them while they were on, but. I mean, look at all the old school stuff, guys. This is incredible. The Atari printer. Numerical pad, program recorder, joysticks, cartridge cabinet, and of course, the nostalgic cartridges. Patches. More patches. And some of you, I don't know, maybe late 80s, early 90s kids are going to remember a lot of this. It's pretty cool stuff. Buttons. Some soda. Super Mario soda. More buttons. Pinball breakaway.
That right there. That was way before it's time. Way before it's time. Alright guys, it is that time. We are finally leaving LA. Uh, Slowbash is a little tipsy right now for the flight, so Slowbash can sleep. So 